Hello, I'm Dave with RP Stock. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial here inside of After Effects. Someone had a question about creating a repeating lines animation. Sometimes you see it in explainer videos and it's just a way to highlight maybe an animation going on or something like that with the example with the ball and here with text just popping up something to help move the animation along. So they wanted to know how to create this and then how to make it repeat. So let's get into it. We're gonna create a new composition. I'm just gonna make it a square composition, 1080 by 1080. And we click underneath here and do proportional grid. This is just gonna help us drawing our stroke line. Come to the pen tool and we're gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna start right about here and move to the edge holding shift so it's a straight line. Now we're almost done. All you have to do is come down into the add menu here and click on repeater. Find it right there. Twirl that down. We're gonna make 10 copies. And right now it's being repeated on the X value, which we do not need. We need it on the rotation here. So 360 divided by 10, how many we have, is 36. So if you do that, there you go. You have a radial pattern here using a shape layer. Now, in order to animate this thing, we need to go into the add drop down menu again, and we need to add a trim paths function. You start with, and if you see, you can move right here and see what's going on exactly. We start and we can animate the end, start at frame zero, hit shift page down, go 10 frames ahead, animate that to hundred. Now we're gonna go to frame three, click on the start, shift page down, and go to 100% here. Let's see what kind of animation that brings us. So it's a little bit of what we want. I'm gonna make some adjustments to the keyframe interpolation. I'm gonna highlight those two back ones and then right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease in, cause it's gonna shoot out quick and then slow down. Let's see what do that does. There we go. I think I'm just going to adjust the curve level of that animation. Hold shift and drag this to the left. Let's see how that looks. Very cool. Now in the example I had, I just duplicated this guy and twirl this down and I, and with the pen tool selected, you can just shorten this, let's see here, shorten this guy here and then add a little rotation. So hit R for rotation and just gonna Adjust this a little bit. Maybe half of 36 at 18. It's halfway through there and offset it. So it's just a little more boink, cartoon boink going on there. Now a cool thing you can do with this is you don't have to create this every time. You can just highlight underneath the contents here in your shape layer and you can drag these three properties over to your effects and presets. Drop that down there and you can cartoon boink. Save that. And watch it. It's initializing the animation presets, so it's reloading them right back in here. And if I twirl down my folder here where I save that and you delete these two things, you can just click this and it brings in your animation with all your keyframes here, all selected. So it's a fun way to um, create these elements very quickly inside of After Effects. Now, in order to loop this, you just throw this in a new composition right here, your animation. We can turn off the proportional grid. And now you just need to throw the time echo effect onto here. And we'll, let's see, we'll animate it. Number of echoes will be 10. And then you just need to increase or decrease the time between echoes. So how cool is that? Repeating lines, boink, boink, boink. And that's exactly what I did with this cartoon uh, boink um, with the ball. All it is is this animating ball bouncing around there. And then in the actual thing, I just did the echo effect on that one layer. I'm Dave with RP Stock. In the meantime, head over to rpstock.net and check out everything we have to offer. We have footage packs at greatly discounted prices. If you're an editor and need stock footage for your next project, come check us out first and uh, you won't be disappointed. We also have a whole bunch of free downloads for your projects. We have HUD screens, particle effects, LUTs to help your log footage. 
and check us out. Thanks for supporting. I'm David R.P. Stock.